I'm uh, Tim Goodwin. I live over at Lake Thompson, Lake Henry uh, in the summertime and I have another place in the Black Hills. Well, I had a family member that uh, had a colonoscopy and came up that uh, one of the polyps was cancerous and so they said it's in the family and then uh, I had a maternal grandfather that died from colon cancer and so the doctor said to me, hey dummy, you know, you're 68 years old, you've never been to the doctor before because I've never been sick. The last time I was to the doctor was when I was six when I had my tonsils out. You need to get it. She, I had a total physical. And then she says, you have to get a colonoscopy. None of this stuff, we're going to send you a box and I'm back. You need to go. And so I said, well, do you want me to go to Watertown, Brookings, or Sioux Falls? And they said, well, Brookings is the best place there is. So I said, okay, you set it up for me. So they set up with Dr. Wee and, and I came over for a colonoscopy because I was 68 and never had anything done before. I took the stuff the day before, which wasn't as bad as everybody said it was. I watched the Twins game, which is enough to give you diarrhea in the first place <laughs> if you've been watching the Twins this year. And so I, during the Twins game, I drank the stuff, did everything I was supposed to, ran back and forth to the bathroom. Sometimes I had to put it on pause because that wasn't time for a commercial. And it was over, and I went to bed that night and didn't have to get up. And I think the thing that really made it probably better for me is I came in ahead of time and met with the doctor. She went through everything with me. Then she gave me everything in writing, because I'm not going to remember. It was like three weeks later when I had it done. And I just looked at it, did everything like they said. And that might be the key, too. I didn't deviate. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. And it was flawless. I mean, I think I had to take four pills at four in the afternoon, four at seven, and then drink the stuff. And I mixed mine with Gatorade, so it wasn't bad tasting. I just cleared my system out. Like I said, I slept all night. I didn't have a problem at all. So I know if anybody's worried about the prep, it isn't as bad as everybody says it, as long as you do what they tell you to do. I woke up, because I heard this beeping sound, like I thought maybe I was laying in the road and like a front end load or something was gonna back over me. I was kinda, I thought, well, you still have to do the procedure. I mean, I just woke up. It was actually the blood pressure machine that was beeping. And I just woke up and I said, well, okay, when are we gonna get, you know, like I was maybe a little bit perturbed, like when are we gonna get on with this? And it was over. And I have never felt better I had never had any pain. I didn't know anything. I mean, it was absolutely flawless. It's a good thing I came. Uh, in the colonoscopy, I had nine polyps, and so they took a biopsy and got rid of them, but they were all benign. And then when they went into my stomach, the gastro, whatever it's called, uh, there was two, and one was rather large. They, they took part of it off and, and checked it out, and it's okay, but. Now I have to go in again to get that removed, but I have to go, it's, they don't do that routinely, so I have to go to Sioux Falls for that. Because I waited so long and I had nine polyps and then two in my stomach, so 11 actually, they said we want to check you out in two years, so I have to do the thing again in two years, which is fine. It was, it was flawless, I would go, you could have me go every year, I don't care. It was like total professional, to, it was not an inconvenience really at all, they just did a, they were just all professional people. She was totally professional, but also very engaging. She wasn't where she talked over you. She talked to your level. You got to really come down if you're going to talk to my level. I guess the whole thing from the day I stepped into the DeSmit Clinic till I walked out of the hospital here was totally flawless. Everybody was professional. You couldn't ask. I mean, there's nothing I could do to even say. If you ask me what they could do to improve, I don't know what it'd be. I mean, you know, give me lobster after I got a surgery. I mean, what would it be there? You know, it's like. It was just totally flawless, and any of the war stories and horror stories everybody told me, none of them were even remotely became true. You don't want to be like me, because I probably got lucky that I waited that long, and I did have, you know, polyps and stuff, and they could have become cancerous. So, and I had nine, nine in, the, in, in my colon and two uh, through my stomach. So it was probably not wise. I mean, I, I shouldn't be a poster boy for that. That's probably a poster boy for how not to do it. Do you, do you want to have cancer and die, or do you want to live? And if you, if you want to die, you don't want to die from cancer, you know. So that'd be my recommendation. It's, it's a quality of life issue. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash mythanks.